Hi guys, I'm back. And today I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, I do not have a canvas today. Today I have little two inch square ceramic tiles. And I got those from this, which is just like, you know, tile you put in the bathroom. And all the little tiles are all glued together on the back. And the glue goes up through the center of the tiles. So I yanked them all apart and took a knife and cut and scraped all this really difficult glue off of these tiles. Took forever. This may be the first and last time I ever do this project. <laughs> but as you can see here, I have a few more tiles than just that sheet of tiles. There are 64 tiles here. And what I plan on, what I'm hoping to create is a chessboard. So I've got my dark colors over here with the black, and then I've got my light colors over here with the white. Um, and I spent a lot of time trying to, you know, you can kind of see that the tiles don't all match. They don't meet up perfectly. Um, you know, they're not all exactly the same. If you measure them, some of them are about half a millimeter to a millimeter bigger than some of the other ones. So trying to match them all up where the, where the outsides are as close to perfect as possible took a while. Um, and then actually some of them are actually a little taller. They're a, a hair thicker than some of the other ones. So we're going to do two pours. It's just going to be a dirty pour. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just divide them up into two groups and I'll do the black, the dark, dirty pour on one set of tiles. And I'm hoping they're all going to stick together close enough where the paint won't all go down through, you know, because most of these are pretty tight together, but I'm hoping that I can tilt it fast enough to get all the paint covered over all the tiles. And then I'll probably take like a toothpick or something and kind of separate them so the paint can sort of flow over the edges a little bit. Um, just, you know, because if I just left it sitting here like this, all the tiles would stick together and then when I go to pull them apart, it would pull the paint right off of these tiles because they're very, you know, they're already finished. So the paint comes off very easily. So I'm going to use these boards and I'm going to cover the boards in saran wrap because I do not want the boards covered in paint. So <laughs> yeah, this is what we're going to try. Now whether this is going to work or not, I have no idea. It just, the idea came to me. And, you know, I, I love to play chess. So, um, so yeah, we're going to try this out. We're going to do the pours and then we'll, we'll take all the pieces apart and obviously arrange them the way they're supposed to be arranged for a chessboard. And then I will, I'm not sure whether I'm going to pour resin over them, you know, like glue them down to a board like this and then pour resin over them and then frame it in or frame it in first and then pour resin over the entire thing. I don't know yet. So we'll see. Um, yeah, so I'll be right back after I cover my boards in plastic wrap and separate my two groups of tiles. Okay, so I've got all of my white squares together. I have crammed them as close as I can in hopes that the paint will just sort of pour over them. It probably would work a little easier if I had like coated them all in white paint, but um, I don't want to put too much paint on here. I've coated my wood in plastic. It's still not covered on the edges, so it's probably going to get paint on it, but this will keep most of it. My colors for the white are, I'm using the White Flow Acrylic from Artist Loft, the Green Yellow from Artist Loft, and then the apricot and the petunia purple from Apple Barrel. And <laughs> I know that mixing green with orange or green with purple or purple with orange could easily muddy up. So I'm just keeping my fingers crossed, hoping for the best. And I am really stirring my silicone in because I really would rather have small cells for this project so that you know the like all the tiles get covered in cells so I've put silicone in everything 
and we're going to keep our fingers crossed. I think that should be enough for the, um, the whole set of tiles, I hope. I'm a little worried about doing a flip cup because it's all going to end up in the middle in a big circle on it. Well, I don't know. We'll see. And I'm pouring these in no particular order. But I am trying to not blend them too heavily because they are colors that don't play very well together sometimes. I'm uh, kind of limping around now. I fell off something the other day and twisted my ankle butt good. Like the whole top of my foot and the side of my foot is completely bruised and I like I have no bone left. You can't even see the little bone that sticks out on the side of your ankle because it's my ankle is so swollen. So hopefully in a few days. And this is like a really bad time to like hurt myself because this is the perfect hiking weather and I wanted to go hiking this weekend with the girls and <laughs> now I can't. But I think it's supposed to be like super super hot this weekend so it's probably better that we don't go out running around in the woods when it's this hot anyway. I don't know. Although we have some pretty nice um, mountains around here so we can go up into the mountains and hike and it's a lot cooler and usually you know there's a waterfall that we like to hike to there's one waterfall it's um and <laughs> when, when we first went to it <laughs> it was kind of like we got up there and we're like wait a minute where's the waterfall is this a joke because you get you walk like two and a half miles because it's a five mile round trip you walk two and a half miles to get to this waterfall and all it is is this tiny little trickle coming down to these massive rocks. <laughs> kind of seemed like a big, um, you know, universal joke, but, but still it's a, it's an awesome hike. So I don't complain too much. Oh man. I hope this is going to be cool. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's funny. I was watching, I don't know, one of the other YouTube videos and I rent and one, you know, other people's videos pop up in your suggestion box. So occasionally I'll watch somebody else that I've never seen before. So I click on this, this person and this dude is, I don't even remember what he was. I think he was doing some kind of resin. He was, <laughs> y'all are always getting on to me because I'm so down on myself a lot of the time. <laughs> I had to laugh because he sounds just like me. And I thought, man, I need to cheer up a little bit. I need to not be so negative about my art. Okay, I think that should be plenty of paint. So I'm going to kind of flip it over here and kind of drag it off this way. And hopefully it'll kind of pull the paint. I thought about, you know, kind of doing stripes and see what kind of cells come up, but we're just going to do a flip cup. Oh, wow, this is so full. It's probably all going to go splat as soon as I flip it over. So we're going to do it super, super quick. Everybody, fingers crossed. Wow. Well, it kind of muddied a little bit where it splattered out, but it's still pretty. If like everything could look like that, I'd actually be kind of happy. It's kind of pretty. I got some pretty little cells going on here. So and now my cup is totally suctioned to those tiles. I don't want it all going off that way. So I'm going to tilt it up like this a little bit. Okay. Woo. Oh, look at the pretty cells that popped up. Man. Okay, I need to get my uh, powder knife here real quick. So I can, let's try this one. So I can scoop up some of this that's like pouring off. And just give it to the tile there. So that it will um, help it to pull off. I want to kind of tilt it that way and then back this way, I think, because it doesn't have far to go on this side. So I want it to really tilt and then back the other way. I'm kind of debating on whether I want to, I don't think I want to um, fire it just yet because I don't want giant cells. 
I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to giant cells, but I'm just going to take it kind of slow here. I don't want to go too fast. I really don't want to lose a lot of that paint, but it's all going off of... Okay, I need to bring it back. kind of hoping maybe it'll come pouring back over the tile. <laughs> There's not really a lot of white there, which I'm kind of unhappy about, but oh well. Okay, let's see if we can get it to... I should have put... I wasn't even thinking. I should have just gone ahead and put little um, side catchers there around the tile. Because now I've like totally lost a bunch of it. Shoot. All right, well, we'll know for next time. Side barriers. We'll do it for the black. Oh, I hate all this pretty stuff. Just gone. And yes, I know it's kind of muddying up. I'm sorry. All right, let's see if we can get that stretch back down. Now that this should pull it off. Well, if nothing else, it'll be interesting. get this corner over here although really I'm not really sure it needs it ah no 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 <laughs> okay well all right well let's um let's torch it okay so I have uh separated them I just kind of jammed a toothpick in between them and kind of separated them. I'm not going to do another thing to them. I'm going to let them sit in this paint because uh, I'm not worried about the sides. I can I can kind of, you know, like sand down the sides if I need to. Um, I do kind of want to get rid of some of that paint though because it's too high up. But um, I'm just, I'm just going to kind of leave them sitting here in the paint until they dry. And then I'm going to peel them off and, you know, scrape off the sides and then, um, you know, hope for the best. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move this aside and we're going to do the black colors. So, um, and yeah, I was right. This one is like all orange with just a hint of lavender and, and orange, but I mean, uh, white. But I'm hoping it won't matter. Hopefully, you know, the, the darker colors will all be so dark that it won't matter. We'll see. All right, I'll be right back and we'll do the darks. Okay, I had turned the light off because I thought the colors would be would show up better, but they didn't. So I just want to show you the colors real quick in the brighter light. All right, now let's do the black. All right, so I've got all the squares for the dark squares, the black, and I've got them crammed together as much as I can. Good enough. And let's get a, like a corner catcher here. So... Let's let's get a couple of them. All right, so let's see. Let's do. I'm gonna put one here, and then we'll put one on the other side as well. And hopefully that will keep a little less of the paint from, you know, wanting to disembark from the project here. Hopefully. Okay, let me run through the colors real quick while I stir in the silicone. We've got Jet Black from Apple Barrel. Uh, let's see, this is the Christmas tree, I think. Holly Branch Green from Apple Barrel. And then I've got the Deep Magenta 
and turquoise, both from Artist Loft. So I'm just stirring in the silicone into all the colors real quick. All right, so let me find my cup here. And here we go. I'm afraid to put the black on top. Let's do, no, we'll do the black. And then turquoise. It won't sit on the top there. The colors are pretty together, but, you know, the colors from the last one were pretty, but they turned, and I knew they were, you know, there was a huge possibility they might turn muddy. And they're, they're not muddy. They're just kind of dingy. But, I don't know, maybe that'll work for this project. Maybe it doesn't need to be so, so bright. I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to convince myself that it's okay. <laughs> I hate to waste, you know, some, I hate to wait, waste as much paint on the, on the table as we did, but for this kind of project, I think you really need to kind of overload. in hopes for success. So by the time I post this video, because this video is going to take probably about, um, that those are going to take at least a couple days to dry because they're on the tile. Um, and then once they're dry, I got to peel them off and everything and kind of sand them down. And then they really need to sit at least for a several days before I pour resin over them. Plus I need to build the frame. Plus I got to glue them down. So this is going to be a project like for me over the next few weeks. So by the time you guys are actually seeing this, it'll be summertime and I'll have my babies back with me. Most, <laughs> I think most parents are like, Oh God, summer's coming. What am I going to do with the kids? But I can't wait. <laughs> I mean, your kids grow up so fast. You know, mine, my, uh, my little Nora, um, May is her birthday, so she's turning eight. Actually, for me, it's this weekend. For y'all, it was probably a couple weeks ago. Um, but, I'm, um, you know, she's eight, and Ella is nine, so, you know, they're going to be off to college really soon. So I'm excited to have them with me for the summer. We're going to do a lot of stuff. Museums and parks and, you know, all that cool stuff. Botanical garden in Atlanta. That's going to be cool. They have some kind of cool exhibit going on. I don't remember what it is. But, okay. Let's do this. Let me um, see if I can pick that up again so it doesn't all go. Ooh, that is pretty. Now, if the whole thing would just look like this, I'd be a happy person. But it's not going to, so... <sighs> and that is so not going to go with that. That orange was the wrong choice. <laughs> Dang it. Oh my. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Look at the cells coming up through there. Holy cow. And it is already wanting to. It looks like a stingray right now. There's the tail. <gasps> Man, those are cool. Okay, so we've got it almost all the way, oh man, almost all the way, whoa, stop going off, I'm trying to get it to come over this way a little bit to get this corner over here, come on, come on, come on, there we go, almost there, there we go, okay, now, whoa, no, 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 it wants to, stop doing that, well, let's just tilt it downwards, shall we? Whoops, that was not good. I accidentally dragged it across the tile on that top corner. That's okay, though. It's okay. I might have to redo the white ones because that orange is just so not going to go with it. But I don't know. I don't want to have to redo everything, all of that, because that was a lot of work, I have to say. 
We've totally lost most of the magenta, which I'm really sad about. Okay, so let's go back this way. It's interesting. It's like all black and green though. Bummer. I mean, that's a total bummer. I want the pink in there. Oh well, what can you do, right? Unless you use the same colors over and over again, you're not really gonna know for sure what's gonna work. And I know some of my colors that work well, but some of them, you know, it's kind of a gamble. Oh, we got a lot of cool stuff going on here. Well, I was gonna use a palette knife, but um, it's covered in orange and purple, so don't wanna do that. There we go. Okay, that's good enough. Let's move these babies out of the way and not drip them in the orange and purple over there. Okay. Let's torch this. Really hoping for some magenta, but it doesn't really look like it wants to come up. But I'm really liking this one way better than the other one. I really don't like the way the other one. I like it just fine, but it doesn't go with this one for me. And that one ran out of gas. That's one of the problems with that one, is it eats, it eats the butane really, really fast. I was, I was complaining to my husband earlier about all the work it took to get these tiles, and what if it sucks, and and doesn't come out right and and he said if it doesn't come out right he'll help me scrape off all the glue from 64 new tiles so he may be busy in the next week or so <laughs> scraping off this stuff okay that one I like it's pretty cool but I don't you know what it's first try for this project so I'm probably just going to use those I don't know once it's all put together, it might look kind of cool. And we'll frame it in maybe black. Okay, so this is how I pry the other ones apart. If I can find my little toothpick here. I've got like a million toothpicks. I finally bought some toothpicks, and I can't find the one I set down for this project. Okay. But anyway, all I did was, well, first what I did was I took my, my pour cup here, and I just scraped off the paint off of the thing because I realized once I started pushing the tiles around there was a lot of paint sitting there. Okay so scraped off most of that. Good enough. And then I just took my little toothpick and kind of pried them apart. And it they seem to do pretty well. Now I used I think a little more silicone than I'm used to using so I can kind of see the silicone sitting on top of these. I might end up having to wash these tiles which I really don't like the idea of because, well, actually I can't do it. So what I'm hoping is, is that once I, um, I might have to pour two coats of resin. If I pour the first coat and the, the silicone is, you know, coming to the surface and putting dimples, then I'll have to do something about that. But we'll keep our fingers crossed and hope that, you know, the silicone kind of sells. Okay, so that's how I pried them all apart. Um, I'm going to continue prying the rest of these apart and then I'll get you down so you can see because I can see in my monitor you can't really see how pretty it is so it's very very dark I'll be right back okay so I've got them all separated now and now I'm going to bring you down for a close-up well these are all washed out from the daylight coming in they're they're so much darker than that but you can kind of see um, the cell work in in these let's see if I give you the shadow will that help kinda but these turned out kinda cool um, a lot of movement which is exactly what I wanted for these little bitty tiles 
That one's pretty cool right there. Uh, if nothing else, they'll make really cool little <laughs> refrigerator magnets. There's some of that magenta in there. When I get this all done, I'll I'll find like somewhere I can set it where you know the daylight's not affecting. Okay, so those are the dark ones, and then over here are the orange and purple ones, and those are actually pretty true to color. And I just cannot get this to focus for nothing. There we go. That's what color they look like. So hopefully, I know they really don't go together at all, but before I go and redo the whole thing, I'm going to, um, you know, let them dry, put them all together, see what they look like. Let's see if we can find a pretty one to kind of zoom in on. Um, no, not really. <laughs> that one's kind of cool. If I can focus, there we go. Okay. All right, well, yeah, that's where I'm going to leave you for today. Um, there's your pretty. And I'm not sure if I'm going to splice these two videos together or if I'm just going to make it one big long video. So we'll probably just do part one and part two. So, all right. So this is where I'm going to leave you for today. There is your part of your pretty. And there is some more of your pretty. I hope wherever you are on the planet, you're having an awesome afternoon, day, evening, or night. I hope you enjoy this little project. I hope it turns out kind of cool because... If it does, I might make a few more. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you to all my subscribers, all my all my viewers. And uh, thanks for all the emails, the comments. And um, yeah. All right. See you later. Bye.